Okay, over the next few videos, we're going to cover uh, how to produce the dies themselves and to make the models. So in this screen, uh, ExoCAD is simply asking us, what do we want to be removable? Now, the Pontex seems to be fixed. Um, the adjacent teeth, if we wanted to make those removable, we could, or we could do um, other teeth up above to be removable. I don't see that as being beneficial to our cause, so we can go ahead and move forward. Now, in Mesh Mixer, when we make uh, models, we've got to jump through a lot of hoops. We've got to trim the model, we've got to extrude a base out. If we want to make that base hollow, we have to go in and do a lot of things. So one thing that's really cool about Model Builder and ExoCAD is a lot of this is done for you. So it's gonna take a little while to think about this, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. And we're back. So here's the model that uh, we're looking at. You may notice it looks kind of weird. It's got this sort of uh, orange speckling to it. And don't worry about that. Um, that's just um, a separate shell that we have, which is the original STL. We can turn that off. But you can see here, this is a nice, clean model with a base. And if we wanted to print that, that would be totally cool. But now think about this. So we don't have any removable dies on the upper. Um, do we have to print this solid? Wouldn't it be nice to maybe save a few bucks and to print this, make this hollow? We can do that with one simple click. So if we click down here and go all the way down and see this box that says hollow model, um, we can go ahead and hit it and hit run. And this is going to take a little while. So I'm going to pause this again. So we're back and check this out. We've got a really nice hollow model. Now just sort of a rule of thumb, and maybe this is just uh, my own personal experience, but if you're using, there's two types of films that we have at the base of our resin build tanks and 3D printing, either FEP film, which is clear Teflon, um, or PDMS. And what I found personally is that hollow models that are down on Teflon tape type film or clear Teflon FEP film, it tends to have a little bit of a suction cup effect and I get more failures printing these um, flat on the base. So you may want to look into using supports. If you're using a printer like the Form 1, you don't have to worry about it. So we're going to go ahead.